people, welcome Next Level Church. This is day seven of our 21 days of prayer, and we are one week into our 21 days of prayer. Let's go, woohoo! Well, we're talking all about the awe of God, and we are spending time praying and believing. I'm believing for miracles, I'm believing for breakthrough, I'm believing that God is going to show up in your life, in your friend's life, in your family's life like never before. So the focus today that we're looking at is this idea that we are made in His image. Genesis 1.27 says, So God created mankind in His own image. In the image of God, He created them. Male and female, He created them. Huh. I love that in one verse it says, He created, He created, He created. See, He is the Creator. And God loved us, and He created us, and He made us in His own image, male and female. Come on, brotherhood and sisterhood. It's awesome. But here's the thing. We're not God. We're human. And yet our whole goal is to become more like Jesus, to bear the image of God here while we're on this earth. And because of our own sin, the truth is that we can often reflect an image that isn't godly. <laughs> so with the healthy fear of the Lord, we can come to God and we can be cleansed so that His image can actually be seen more in us. So I want to start by praying that through. Will you just repeat after me? Heavenly Father, thank you for making me. I believe that you created me in your image. I thank you that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm sorry for any time that I haven't reflected you well. Would you purify my motives? Would you cleanse me and make me new? I want to bring you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So maybe you've heard me talk about this before, but I like to watch the show alone. Um, it's not very popular. It's on the History Channel. and um, But I, I love this show because it's kind of boring and it's kind of fun all at the same time. <laughs> so I can pick it up and drop off whenever I want. But I was watching one of the most recent seasons and the big idea is that people get dropped in this desolate place and they're alone. They have like 10 items with them. And uh, whoever lasts the longest uh, gets $500,000, uh, which is awesome. So these people put themselves in crazy circumstances and, um, and, uh, and they have to figure out how to survive. But one of the wild things is that they don't have a mirror. Um, now they have a video camera and so sometimes they will look into that video camera lens uh, to see themselves, but most of the time they're not looking at themselves. At the beginning of the show, when they're first kind of dropped there, they look at themselves a lot and they kind of keep themselves clean but I was uh, watching recently and uh, this guy gets into like 70 days and he was just filthy I mean just his face had you know dirt all over it his fingers were filthy and I'm watching it thinking like dude wash your face like look in the video camera you know because of course we're watching him but he can't see himself and uh, one of the days he actually did uh, look into that camera and he said out loud wow I'm filthy <laughs> he just started to clean himself off but I was thinking about that and just thinking that it can be the same way with us you see sometimes we think of ourselves like how we want to think of ourselves maybe maybe you know better than we are but God sees us as we actually are the great thing is that through the blood of Jesus, when we come to Him, we can have our actual humanity revealed, and then His blood can just wash us clean. So here's my challenge for us today and my question. What image do we gravitate toward? Are we living from a place of our actual self, or do we tend to lie, or maybe some of us struggle with deceptive statements to just protect ourselves? You see. 
we can come to God just as we are. And I want to encourage you that He loves us where we are, but He doesn't want to leave us where we are. He wants to wash us clean. So I want you just to take a moment and just pray about that in your own words. Are you living from a place of your actual self, or is there any place that Jesus wants to just wash you clean? Go ahead and just spend some time with God and pray through that. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, it's good to be in His presence. So I just want to take a moment and just pray over our Better Together Sunday that is happening today. There are people who are joining groups for the first time. I'm believing for new friendships and for brothers and sisters to uh, just have a closer bond. And I also just want to pray over you today. If you're believing for a miracle, I'm just praying for that. So Father, I thank you. God, I thank you that you call us sons and daughters. I thank you, Jesus, that you put us here on earth together, God, that we are better together. I pray that authentic relationships would form in this group season. God, I pray that, uh, that when we come to you, we can be real, but also we can invite a couple of close people to also come close. And Father, that just through that kind of accountability and authenticity, God, that we would be closer to you as we're closer to each other. God, I pray for breakthrough in people's lives today. You see what people are going through. Father, if there's uh, someone who needs healing in their physical body today, I pray for healing to flow in Jesus' mighty name. I pray against the enemy and I just bind him and any tactic that he may have in our lives. We just say that there is no weapon that is formed that will prosper. We are yours. We're your sons and daughters. We are made in your image, and we thank you for that. Now, Father, I pray blessing over families today. I pray blessing and protection in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, we are one week in, so let's keep praying. Uh, maybe the Holy Spirit's going to speak to you to add fasting uh, to these couple of weeks. Do it. Listen, we're made in His image. Let's just keep walking in confidence that He loves us. I love you, church family. <laughs>